Happy New Year guys! The holidays are over and it's time for us to face the new year ahead. Looking back, if there's one lesson I learned last year to guide me this year, it's the power of believing. Believing na kaya kong gawin kung ano man ang naisin ko at unti-unti ko na rin naabot ang mga pangarap ko. Believe na walang makakapigil sa success ko. Having strong belief gives you focus, clarity, and the confidence to act towards your goals. Pero... Paano ka nga ba magkakaroon ng self-confidence? Paano mo i-convince ang sarili mo na kaya mo mag-succeed sa lahat ng gagawin mo? How do you start believing in your success? Let me give you some tips para ma-achieve mo yung mga goals mo this year. Number one, give yourself a task to accomplish each day. Make it simple and being able to do them would be a reward in itself for you. Set small achievable goals because having goals give you a sense of direction success in small quantities builds self-confidence that will inspire you to go for bigger goals we are in mlm business we are being paid for doing only two things number one that's enrolling people into your network number two uh, your network starts consuming the products which uh, which will build your residual income eventually this means a lot of exposure. You can only do exposure when you prospect and invite people to see your opportunity. Unfortunately, walang ibang gagawa nun kundi ikaw. Number two, make your own decisions. Every day in our life, we are faced with choices. When you can't decide on something, do you instantly turn for advice? Or worse, you just choose whatever is the most popular choice. One should learn how to make decisions based on one's knowledge and experience. Self-reliance really plays a big role in having self-confidence. For example, birthday ng barkada mo. And hindi ka makapag-decide kung anong gift ang gusto mo ibigay sa kanya. Instead of immediately asking your other friends for good gift ideas, why not just decide whatever you believe your friend would like? In summary, we must choose to live a life that's full of desires than fear. Number three, accept that failure is part of success. Nobody's ever achieved anything great without failing at least once in their life. We all make mistakes. And when we do, it means we've just eliminated one obstacle that hinders us from achieving our goal. Ang precursor ng success before we even become successful is we will have to fail a lot of times. But don't worry about failure. Worry about the chance you'll miss if you don't even try. One popular quote by Michael Jordan is, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and miss. I've failed over and over and over again in my life and that's why I succeed. Number four, never let critics discourage you. Beware of the people who would uh, put you down. Never let them convince you that you are less than who you really are. Marami magdi-discourage sa'yo. Marami sasabing hindi mo kaya yan. Listen to their reasons why and use it to positively improve yourself. Number five, give yourself to others. One of the best ways to feel good about yourself is to help others. Why? Because when you give your time, energy, and energy, skills, and talent to charity, you'll realize that your value as a person is something that other people need and deeply appreciate. Serving others will give you self-respect and a sense of purpose. Remember, success starts in your mind and in your heart. Today, we've been blessed with a gift, a fresh, pristine, and gorgeous new year. Who you were last year doesn't define who you can be this year. Again, this is June Atok coming from my home office here in Pasig. Wishing you a prosperous year and good luck to all of us. Thank you for listening.